from the New York Times. Waltz forcefully defends military record and first solo campaign stop. Donald J. Trump's campaign has accused Governor Tim Waltz of uh, Minnesota. We know who he is. Of stolen valor. So I just actually found this out because I didn't realize this. He he was a what, what was he? He was a first sergeant or he's a master sergeant? Master sergeant. They, he said he was. He said man, master sergeant. He said he was. So he but he was actually an E eight. He's only E eight. First sergeant. Yeah. So uh, but E eight could be master sergeant too, right? Uh, no. If there's only certain, you can have three uh, master sergeant, uh, command master sergeant, and then. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't in the army. To be honest. So at first, I thought the issue was that he was uh, sergeant major. And then was given the position of command sergeant major briefly, but he didn't attain it. And uh, because I'm not a military guy. And then people were explaining to me this morning that it was actually he's claiming to be E9, enlisted 9, but he's actually E8. So he's way below that. Someone made a montage of all the times he's lied about having that rank he does not have. That's actually crazier than I realized. But I'll tell you this. A lot of people in the media have been saying like, oh, it's no big deal. Or they're attacking J.D. Vance. Keep it up. Look, man, the fact that he's responding twice now, twice to this, the Democrats are freaking out over the stolen valor accusations. He said he was in war when he wasn't, and he said he had a rank he didn't have. You looked it up? Yeah, I did. It's um, E8 is first sergeant by self, and then you have uh, E9 is sergeant major and the command sergeant major. So he was a first sergeant. So he wasn't in E9. Like It's like me saying I was a sergeant when I got out instead of a corporal. What the? Yeah, he's lying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's been doing it for 19 years. Yeah. Like He's not dumb. Right? He's, he's a smart gentleman. So Why every time yeah. he speaks out loud. Well, actually, I'd call him a oh, midwit. Because it's sure. Like, I mean, he's not dumb. No, but what you mean to say is he knows what he's doing. Yes. But he's he real dumb for doing it. Yes. And he thought he could get away with it. And now he's <laughs> going to be And I liked his, his, his statement to, to J.D. Vance. Because J.D. Vance called him out on this. And yeah. he was like, we, their statement was something effective like, oh, no, we would never misrepresent. And we thank, you know, Vance <laughs> for his service to the country. And in this speech, too, that he gave recently, he had to say the same thing. He's like, well, and of course, I thank, you know, J.D. Vance for his service to the country. <laughs> I would never, ever, you know, make people feel bad about their level of sur- something like that. I mean, it is it is funny. I, they just announced they're going to have this October 1st VP debate, and I feel like it's going to be very Midwestern a- man. Has Vance uh, agreed to it? That's I had seen that J.D. Vance had, but I'll double check right now. I, uh, I might have misspoke. I said a sergeant. Uh, I said uh, might have said master sergeant, but, but uh, first sergeant. No, no. E8, you have a uh, best sergeant and first sergeant. Yeah. And I, I meant to say sergeant major if I said... Um, if I said, uh, I think he sergeant. was a master sergeant. I'm not sure. Yeah, so master sergeant works because he got two. Apparently, Army's got two E8s. Yeah. Well, he's going to crush uh, Tim when it comes to that topic. So, uh, but how do y'all think? Apparently, JD we're awaiting Vance- a response from JD Vance on this. And also, I guess yeah. Waltz had said something like, "If he shows up." Like, I, I don't understand where the the Harris Walls campaign is just like, "You guys are scared of us." Like, no say one to is my, scared of. Say you. it to my face. Oh, okay. I, You're taking a spot on a ticket that you were the second choice on. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Say it to my face. <laughs> that might be a beautiful debate. Uh, do you think Tim stands a chance against JD on that? Oh, well, I, not on the military. Overall. Over, I mean, sorry, not overall. on the military to, uh, topic. I, I, I think uh, Tim is going to be very loud and obnoxious. He's going to be very loud. I bet he says the word weird. Yeah, he's going to be saying you weird. I think he called them like Vance and Trump creepy. Like, I think he's going to kind of be a middle school girl. Yeah, he's going to be, yeah, calling them names and stuff. You know, so, hey, now, now, now Trump does a lot of name calling. You know, that's, that's how Trump, you know, started out in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. So I think JD, uh, no, I think Tim Walsh is trying to use the, uh, he's trying to, he is trying to use the Trump strategy and, you know, and try to roast him on stage and call him I think him you names. shouldn't try to be someone else, But you can't right? be Trump, buddy. You can't be Trump for sure. But you just can't. generally, like, you're a comedian. Yeah. If you have your own style, but then you're like, oh, I'm going to, you know, try and do this guy's style. Like, it doesn't work. Yeah. Are they trying to take the online attack? Like, you know, online everyone's mad and angry at each other. Are they trying to bring that out to the real world? Where normies are like, oh, my God, this person's, you know, they're, the people listen to them and they're calling people names. Kamala and Tim are being like ruthless bullies. Yeah. Is that, is now, that a strategy? Now, to be honest, if if I were Tim, I wouldn't even debate JD. <laughs> JD is going to demolish him, ex- especially because of this military. This is bad. Yeah, L- that's huge. Lying about your rank, lying, I mean, dude, that's this is bad. Not just that, but he said I carried weapons of war in war, and so he's got two things there: calling any weapon a weapon of war, like 
there was actually a funny point made by the bulwark where the writer and these are anti-Trump guys. He was like, everything's a weapon of war. He's like, I carried tons of things while I was in war. What are you going to say? Like hatchets are weapons of war. I mean, come on, like use those as tools. Okay. It's a good point. So that was a dumb thing to say. But then he said he was in war and he wasn't. And that's a big no, no. That's, t- that's why I say if I were him, I would not debate J.D. Vance. He is going to this is. Well, he's, he's doing going it. to end him with this. This is I mean, he's ending himself with this. You know what? Kamala, I mean, they made a mistake. They, she, I don't know. They may get rid of him. Do you think it's weird? They may swap him out. He actually may, he, he actually may say, you know, um, for the sake of the country, you know, I want to take the topic away from me, you know, in the military stuff. So but I'm going to step down and, and because I want Kamala to win and I don't want to hurt this campaign because we have to defeat Donald Trump. And this is all about defeating Donald Trump. So but can they do that after convention? Oh, they've already nominated, which hypothetically means it's, it's a Harris Waltz ticket. I don't know all the rules for the Democrats, but like there is a certain point where it becomes too late. The names that they have to print on the ballots are the names. Early voting starts in September and they're this debate is. Is October 1st, right? Like, I don't think they can pull Waltz at this point. I think they're stuck. Well, Waltz may catch the monkey pox and say he's, he might end up, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that he's too sick to be vice president. And, and at that point, you know, uh, if somebody is too ill to even uh, be in office, it, that, then, uh, then they probably will have the right to choose someone else. I mean, I think it's I'm a huge, surprised, yep. It's a huge talking point for myself and all my veteran brothers and Marines. Everyone out there, it's a huge talking point. But someone told me today that it's not that big yeah. on the left. If you don't care, you don't care. But the left doesn't respect the military. In general, and right. That's so why they how, didn't think, it, like, whoever vetted Walls was like, meh, it's fine yeah. if they caught it at all. And again, that's sort of a, 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 a bias that they have because... Again, Harris is left of Biden, and now she's picked someone who has at least drifted farther left in his career. They are looking through things through a lens that I don't think is even considered moderate. Like, there is no nod to what a moderate voter, someone who might cast the occasional Democratic ballot, would think of these things. And I actually think ma- mainstream Americans have more respect for the military oh, yeah. than people give them credit for. And look at this guy. Like, look at this guy. Stupid whitey. Yeah, look at him. He's rude. He's- Looks, he looks like a, a dollar store Joe Biden. <laughs> like, yeah. He kind of does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what Waltz is trying to do is he's trying to turn this into my, my, my service was attacked. He goes up on stage and he says, yeah, I've, I've only got one thing to say to J.D. Vance about his service. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. Like, dude, nobody's criticizing you for having served. Like that, that you're getting respect for for 24 years. Yeah, bravo, sir. But you lied about your rank and you lied about going to war. He can't answer that. This is an impossibility for the Democrats right now. He's had to answer twice to it, which means internally they know it's bad for them. And it's be like we look at the press. The press says, ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Then they look at their internals and they're like, it's bad. Everybody's talking about it. They're get, we're getting questions about it. They don't like that you did this. He can't answer for it. They're going to try and manipulate the conversation. They can't do it. If this debate it's, debate's happening October 1st. Oh, nice. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up. There's nothing Waltz can do other than say, I apologize but he already yeah. did. He already said, I misspoke. I misspoke for 19, was it, yeah. is it 19, 19 years? years. 19. But the thing is, is he's not even running on uh, being a veteran. He's running on being the coach. Well, it was 19 the years since, yeah. since he got out. Right, right. That's when he's so been he's, lying the whole time. Right. But he, he barely talks about himself being a veteran. He, uh, he's running, he's calling himself the coach. He's running on being, like, he's running on that. I was a coach. I was, he talks more about being a coach than a veteran. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure it's Tommy Tuberville from uh, Alabama, who's a Republican, who already, like, is a well-known nickname, yeah. the coach, right? Like, they're already copying Republicans. But, it's a, but it's a reason why he's going by the coach. It's because he lied about his military service so much. He's, he's, he's trying to be known as the coach, not as a veteran. He wants to take the mm-hmm. entire conversation away from him being... Uh, a, a veteran and him lying about his service. So yep. that's why he's calling himself the coach. Literally, they have signs that say Kamala in the coach. Well, and I think they're going to spin service into being like, well, he served his community by being a teacher for so many years. That's right? that's, that's what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what I find really interesting, which is like they want to say oh, well, he's white and he has some kind of tie to the military. We don't really care what. But actually what we're interested in is, is him rallying teachers and unions. And I don't know that he can effectively do that for them. Yeah, but And people also need to realize this guy is a nut job. During COVID, 
I mean, it's so much stuff coming out about him that I didn't even know. This guy, I mean, he literally allowed, we cannot forget this, he allowed Minnesota to be burned down. I've, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of clips are, are uh, being uh, resurfaced, okay? And as terrible clips, I just saw, I just saw a clip of this elderly disabled uh, black woman. She was crying her eyes out because they burned down every pharmacy near her. Uh, the bus was not, they were, They burned down a city bus. They, uh, they, uh, these people burned down the Dollar General. They burned down everything around her. She was crying because she could not get her prescription medicine. She did not have a ride to, she couldn't go to, she could not go uh, to, uh, to her doctor. And I mean, this, and this lady literally said she wished that she was with George Floyd because life is so terrible. Like at the time she was like, like my life is ruined right now. I have nothing. Yeah. Like my whole life has been burned down. And Tim Walsh allowed that. He literally allowed a police station to be burned down. I remember I was watching at home. Um, the the governor and the governor, uh, the the governor and the mayor of Minnesota uh, said they they told people to they told the police to stand down. Give it up. They said to give it up yep. because. There were a bunch of rioters that were uh, taking over a police station and Tim Walsh as the governor and then and then the mayor of Minnesota told the police to stand down, let them take it over, let them burn it down. So he allowed that he even uh, if you were caught uh, being being outside past past your curfew, past curfew, curfew, even if you were on your porch, he had the police. Uh, shoot people with paintball guns. What? I don't know. I saw people were posting that, but then they started deleting that post. Wait, what happened? There's like a video from. There's like a video of of police walking down the street and then they shooting. Start, with, yeah, what? Yeah, shooting shooting something. It's probably pepper balls. But I saw a couple people who post that deleted it later. So wow. I don't know. It's been a long time. Huh. I think it was a pretty strict lockdown state though and if i like you're totally right if if his attitude towards rioters was to tell the police give it up what happens when this you know if it were to become the harris waltz administration and any kind of large-scale riot were to break out in he America? would he would let people burn down the white house probably they would they would let people burn the white house down give they literally would um, give it up away, so. and he literally he literally let his whole state uh, burn down. So he will. Uh, yes, he will let the White House burn. If they wanted, if if they wanted to burn down the governor's mansion, he would have allowed it. Well, his wife was busy leaving her windows open to smell the burning. Oh, tire, I mean, have you ever smelled tires? It is pure insanity. Uh, so yummy. Yeah, I mean, like virtue like, signaling. He right? aided in the destruction of his. Uh, he aided in the destruction of so many communities in his state. And then Kamala, that was. Small businesses. So many people have not been able to recover. Yeah. So many small businesses were burned down. Those small businesses have never recovered. A hundred percent of them probably never recovered. They were too busy giving money. They were, and you know what? They allow small businesses to be burned down. And then instead of helping them rebuild, they they spent money trying to get rioters out of prison. Yeah. Which didn't Kamala uh, Harris promote the bail? Yes. Exactly. It's she like promoted the bail. It's absolutely pure insanity. So and the media lies about it, and the day media long, lies about it. Day long. The, the guy's a nut job. I mean, he is worse than Kamala Harris. Which that's is why they picked him. He is worse than Kamala Harris. Because <laughs> at one point, when he ran for for Congress, he was considered to be, and this is way back in the day, so it was during a different political temperature in our country. But you know, considered to be a sort of moderate Democrat, and then he just got intensely more progressive over time. I think it's a clear, like when they picked Walls, I felt like it was a clear uh, call to action, right? That that if given power, Harris and Walls and whoever is supporting them, because really a lot of these campaigns are with people who are trying to get their position in the administration so they can affect change at a high level. Uh, they want to shift as far to the left as as they can do it as in as fast as possible. And I, I think that is the concern, especially if, like I'm conservative, so I don't want to do that. But I think especially for moderate Americans, right, like it is not this peaceful like, oh, everything's you know, OK. We're just more open minded. We're more empathetic or whatever it's being billed as like you things get destroyed in the process. And a lot of our common ways of life are going to be at risk. Like the things that you like about America can also be. Be, you kind of alluded to this at the beginning of the show, but like if we don't preserve them, they can be lost in a generation. They are the yeah. uh, they are the burn it down party. That's the way they run. I'm the telling left. Yeah, this, 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 
this Tim Walsh and Kamala Harris, they are going to destroy this country. Thanks for watching this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to check out the live show Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. on this channel. Subscribe and we'll see you all there.